Good morning, everybody. Just woke up and all I see is water. And I just got a text on my phone where which I cannot find. Usually when I enter a new country, I get like a text from my cell phone company saying, you're in this country and you get this data service and this is how much you pay if you call somebody. But I'm in Croatia, I'm staring directly at the Adriatic Sea and we are three more hours left until we hit Split, Croatia. I had kind of low expectations for this 11-hour um, journey from Ancona, Italy to Split, and when I got here, I was actually a little bit disappointed because it was really hot in this cabin. It didn't feel as like clean as I thought it was, but actually, I had the best sleep, like the best sleep, and it got cooler in this room throughout the night. It's actually quite comfortable right now and I'm waking up to this amazing view. How awesome is that? It's so calming. When we dock, I am actually going to figure out how to get to my Airbnb and I want to figure out what I'm gonna do for the next three days, three to four days, because I literally have zero things planned. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I'm a travel vlogger currently here in the sea on the Adriatic Sea, heading to Split, Croatia. I've been doing a three-week travel vlog series called Rome Around the World, where I take you guys around the world because my name is Jerome, so Rome Around the World, like the song. I think I'll get breakfast soon. That's what I'll do. So I was able to redeem um, my ticket for some breakfast. It's at the bar right over here. Got a cafe espresso with, I think this is a chocolate croissant. I might have to go downstairs to like the little eating area. But I might just finish this out and then go back upstairs. All packed up. Got my bag right over there. My luggage back there. <laughs> my hair situation, I'll just worry about that when I get to my Airbnb. But they said to leave the cabins um, now and then head to like the seventh floor to listen for disembarkation instructions. Um, we don't dis we don't disembark or land in the port until an hour from now. So I'm trying to squeeze as much time here as I can, but I think I might start making my way over there now. right now and we finally got here in Split, Croatia. I like the wind, I can do the wind. But gonna walk, I think it's like a 13 minute walk to the Airbnb and then gotta take a shower, charge my phone, and get my life. So my sunglasses tan guys. Uh, so since I got to Croatia in the morning, my Airbnb isn't quite ready yet, it's still being cleaned. And so I dropped off my luggage at the location. The host told me to still like have some breakfast somewhere, so I'm here at this place called Fast Food Hammy. Oops. The little old lady right there. Maybe her name is Hammy, I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna get a, just like a quick breakfast. And they have Wi Fi here, which is great, so I'll have some time to figure out where I wanna get, where I wanna go, what I wanna do today, tomorrow, and the following day. But yeah, it's such, it's so beautiful here. Just got here to the Airbnb. It's so cute. Pretty centrally located and it's kind of tucked in a little alleyway that's a little sketchy but uh, the host definitely said that it's like a good location. So let me quickly do a room Airbnb tour for you. So as you walk in, there is a kitchen on the right side. It has a stove, oven, there's a coffee maker. She has like a little welcome packet here and part of it is like where to find uh, where good coffee shops are nearby, which I really appreciate and then a sink a microwave and then in the fridge She gave me some welcome drinks, which looks like um Bavaria Holland premium beer and then some water She did say that the water here in Split is drinkable. So 
um, you can use the tap water which I'll be filling up. A little breakfast dining table area with a TV on the top. Let's look at the view from this window. It's so cute. I love the little brick and the little window shutters outside. It's really cute. She did leave a whole bunch of uh, you know location related stuff, things about split. Um, and then as we turn around, this is like a really big ottoman couch setup. Uh, Lisa, my friend, is joining me in a couple days. She's from Seattle, you'll see her. She'll be sleeping here for a night. And then this is the narrow stairs up to the bedroom. So yeah, it's really narrow, but I think it's fine for one person. So as you go up, there's this wardrobe on, um, you know, forward, a little full length mirror um, to the left. And then as we turn around, this is the bedroom area. I love the ceiling with like the brown vault. Are those vaults? I don't know. Uh, there's the bed and then a little area here. And then to the right is the bathroom, which is super cute. They have a washer dryer combo, towels. Saw this little thing, it has all these amenities like a L'Occitane Divine Eye Balm. Hmm. Um, hair dryer, sink, toilet, and a washer, uh, washer. This is a shower. I think I'm gonna like relax for a little bit, take a shower, and maybe edit a vlog. I'm two subscribers away from 14,000 subscribers, which is pretty exciting. Um, so I might edit a vlog and then maybe just relax in the AC. Um, and then I'll get back to you. Not sure what I'm gonna do today, but It'll be exciting. Okay, so a couple hours later, I've been so boring the past like hour and a half to two hours. Um, but look at this little walkway that I go on just to get in and out of my Airbnb. I was feeling really sad, and I think I've mentioned this in the past that this has been feeling really sad and like don't know what to do with myself now that I'm not with the group. But I did video chat with Trevor and Anna, and I love them, and I'm so glad that we did that. But I'm heading over to this place called Riva, which is like an eight minute walk. It has this amazing picturesque view of the water. It's like a pretty touristy area, so I'm gonna go ahead and find something to eat and maybe drink, and I'll see you guys there. So arrived here at this area called Riva. It's pretty much this like long street which has a lot of their restaurants, their bars, uh, the view of the ocean or the um, coastal line right over there. Lots going on, lots of music, lots of people. Um, super touristy, um, and if that's your thing, that's awesome. But anyways, I don't know what exactly what I want to get to eat, but I'll just keep walking around. been walking around, it's kind of amazing this kind of old castle, old town area, but um, you can get easily lost and sidetracked, but I found this place called Zinfandel, which is like a wine and food bar. I feel like I've seen this restaurant in a blog that I had been looking at in preparation for like figuring out what to do in Spleet, but um, ordered some food, some dinner, didn't get dessert because I'm going to go somewhere else after this for that, but it's just really interesting how it's so complex, all of the passage ways here. Um, lots of stores, lots of groceries, lots of places to eat, so um, I feel like the vibe is like a lot more crazy and like party-like towards like the coastline, but inside is a little bit different. Okay, so dinner was really good. Now, we're gonna go grab some dessert. It's a place called Luca Ice Cream, but it's about a six minute walk from where I had dinner, and it was recommended by my Airbnb host. So, gonna go over there, they have ice cream, they have desserts. a 
little bit dark, but I'm gonna be heading over back to the Airbnb, but first, the grocery store. But can I just say, since this is like near the water, it's actually really pleasant and nice and cool, not like hot, but I just noticed after taking a whole bunch of pictures, look at my sunglasses tan. Like, I'm darker here, and I'm like lighter here, so. I don't know what to do to even that out. Might have to wait till I get back home. Heading into this place called Tommy Market. Hopefully they have what I need. Oh. Whoa, weird lighting. Let's bring this up. I won't move because if I do that, that happens. So let's just stay still. Hey guys, just got back to the Airbnb. Stopped by the grocery store really quickly and I thought I would do a grocery store haul. The place that I went to had, it was kind of like a extended convenience store, but not like a full grocery store. And I think that might be because it's trying to cater to like the area, which is super touristy, where they know that people aren't gonna be making full blown meals, but they also want them to have access to like basic necessities, but not like the large variety. So, got, a Coke. This one's a uh, two liter because, man, I might need to be on a cleanse when I get back home. Um, got some chips. This one is from Cheapy Chips. I think it might be a Croatian brand. Does it show? Oh, Zagreb. It's Croatia. And then I got a couple of uh, peaches, which and trying to get some, and then a strawberry little yogurt thing. Oh, and then I also stopped by a, a little convenient, or like a drugstore next door, and I spoke to it earlier, but I have the worst sunglasses tan, so I haven't been up reapplying my SPF throughout the day, and that's because it's just with my skincare, I have an SPF 50, uh, kind of like an essence. So this one's small enough, this one's by Nivea. It's SPF 30 and it's for kids, but it's small enough to put in my fanny pack. So that's happening. It's gonna be the end of the vlog for today. I wanna make the most of Croatia. I'm here, this is my first time here. So um, I'm excited for my friend Lisa to come in a couple days, but I really honestly don't know what I'm doing tomorrow because I literally have not planned anything. The rest of the night I'm gonna probably try to edit my vlog, still in the Philippines, and then um, I'm gonna try and uh, figure out what to do tomorrow. I really wanted to go to Hava, Hava, Havar, Hava, um, or this other, it's like an, um, they're like pools of um, like of waterfalls, but the thing is I don't know how to get there, and I'm, today I was so useless when it comes to that stuff, so I'm so sorry, but, I'll try to be high energy tomorrow. I'm excited. I will see you guys tomorrow. Please thumbs up this video. Make me feel better. Subscribe. I have more travel vlogs coming up. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.